you know, one of my, my songs to play, but well, not my song, my song, but my favorite song, one of my favorites. Try not the upgrades, all the uh, changes I made to the bike, which I'm gonna do a quick. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick bike check when I get a chance. And my song is gonna come soon. As soon as it comes in, I'm gonna sprint. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, baby. Print the music. Sound Russian too. Could be Russian, could be not. Oh man, the bike feels good now. I lower the stem height by changing the stem. It just flows now. Uh, and change the brakes. I'm running uh, the the E-Clack silent brakes with the uh, with the uh, Odyssey trigger level, which I'm gonna show on video as soon as I get to to uh, a well lit area. Oh my god, she wants to lift from the front end. I knew it, I knew it. I, I was I was thinking like damn the my uh kink backwards uh iron gray one is a 21 and it's like I don't even uh, you know that one since I had the high the high rise stem the onyx high rise stem I felt like you have to yank it. So this stem all you have to do is lean back a little, sprint, like 
force force the pedals to spin and it just lifts up like nothing like the front end lifts up because it's so long and the rear end i'm running uh the the rear wheel slam so i could so i could lift it up much easier because for some reason with the long frame the 21 and a half it's it's much better when in terms of uh i don't know i feel like you could you could bring the front end because it's so long but it looks even like i don't know the 21 with a 13 with a with a 13 five rear end Uh, uh, God, I gotta take it so long to fucking move. What a th uh, let me let me cut the music real quick so I can talk. I like riding with music though. I should have not got rid of my fucking uh, my uh, flip six because that shit was even louder. Uh, I remember when I had the flip six. I uh, had people dancing in the city when I was running. Okay, let me let me show on the video real quick what I did to the bike. It's not a bike check, but it's a video on it. Uh, hold on, because there's a light here. There's actually light here. This is lit. Okay, before I go to. Uh, the the side of the mall uh, and plus I wanted to smoke a cigarette anyway and drink my Red Bull so uh, what I did to the bike uh, I don't know if it's gonna see on the video but cuz I'm not looking at my phone right now so uh, the stem I changed the stem I got the BSD uh, leveled stem which it lowered the handlebars a little by like maybe four four mil four mil down mm down downwards millimeters because the other uh, the the onyx stem i had the 25.4 clamping version that one was like too high like like the bars was like too high and i felt like it was going like you know like it was too steep and like it felt steep like i wasn't picking up speed when rolling like now i just went down that little hill and i was it was just started flowing by itself i didn't even have to pedal so uh that's the one change uh the other change that i did i put uh, i took off the kink uh uh desist 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 uh brake kit and i put back the um the brake cable that I had on the top for Odyssey, I put I put the the trigger, the trigger lever. Uh, I put the um, I greased the hell out of the fucking bearings on the headset. Uh, I greased the hell out of this. I thought that was was making noise, but it was still running dry because I didn't have grease at the time when I put it on this frame, so I had to run it the way it was. So I put a hell of a lot of grease on this, on the on the substance uh, spindle, and the bottom the bottom BB, and uh, uh, what did I do? What else did I do? Oh, the brakes, the E clat Talon brakes, with with the uh, the level from uh, the trigger level from from Odyssey, because um the the. The E clat, uh, uh, the the E clat levers, the brake levers, or levers, whatever they call them, um, they're too expensive. Like fit, the f this costs twenty, and yet the um, the the E clat one, they don't even have the like the the clamp, like the opening clamp or the 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 bracket that opens up so you could put it on the handlebars without taking the grips off. And they don't even have it with that they have it they, they did the new one the viper i don't know if it's the viper 2 or second version but it's the e-clap viper level and i'm gonna get it because i wanted to run e-clap level uh odyssey cables odyssey gyro odyssey top plate 
and then the e clap uh rear wheel brakes and front brakes when i get the e clap of uh when i get the odyssey uh f25 fork because i'm keeping that i'm keeping that fork like i'm keeping it that that uh the fucking crap man the fucking oh my god i'm stuck on stupid right now uh Oh my god. The offset, the offset. The offset is 25. I'm gonna keep that because I lower the I, I lower the stem by changing the stem. This is a BSD uh level stem is a 50 mil uh 50 mil length and is a 27 inch rise. And uh the other one was the the Onyx which was uh uh 33 uh, uh rise and it was a uh, 48 I got a 48 and a 52 in the Onyx stem from the e clay So I decided to go with this one. Uh, what I plan to do to the bike will be, I wanna get the uh, the same, the similar rim to this one, but it's the the, um, the Bondi rim with some uh, Odyssey spokes maybe. Uh, and uh, yeah, E-clad with the Odyssey spokes or the E-clad spokes and uh, and the uh, uh, BSD hub, the revolutionary uh, uh, BSD hub because I really want to do uh, moonwalks if I could go backwards, if I learn how to go backwards. I haven't done any tricks. Uh, when I was young, 15, I was in Puerto Rico, I did jumps, like I jumped like a plaza, like staircases, like that, that, I used to do that. But I never did like uh, uh, any tricks on a BMX because this is like my third year with a BMX. So yeah, so that, this is what I'm riding. This is the big one. This is the 21 and a half, which was the one that uh, my boy, my boy Silverback, uh, Ant, he he uh, he sold me this one, his personal one. It was brand new when he got it, so. He, he just sold it to me because I didn't want to, I guess I didn't want to wait for a color I wanted. And or they didn't have it uh, in the warehouse, so I ended, up get, I ended up getting his. He got a gray one. I got a gray one. Uh, the second frame that I got is a gray one. Same thing, King BMX, but it's uh, a 21. And I felt like the front end, like the wheel felt that like that like it, it would be over here because this is a 21 0.5 on a bmx is, is significant because i see the difference like this shit is so long the front end but when you look at the rear the rear triangle and the front triangle the rear don't look like it's super long but on my gray one once i build it i'll be able to show it but because uh, i haven't built it yet so I just gotta get the front fork to, to build the gray one. But on the gray one, since it's a 21, so you figure the frame, the head tube comes over here. So the front wheel is a little bit closer to the, to the cranks and the rear end feels a little bit too long. So I was trying to lift it, but I was running the Onyx stem with this 10, hand, 10 inch bar. So it, it was, too like the bike felt it too steep with that one so with that uh backwards frame so this is why i had switched back to this one but this is the recent stuff that i got uh bsd stem and the brakes some brake pads i ordered fucking light oh by the way i'm gonna get that night rider light it's much better than this i mean this one is good but i, I like the the when you put it on the butt on a, on, a, on a thing you just put the clip and then you just clip it on clip it off I don't like this rubber thingy I don't like that um there was a guy that was talking about uh, why do I, I I don't that I that why I don't like uh, uh, R25 or the offset 25 offset 4 and I explained to him that on this one it fits perfect because the frame, the the tattoo is so so long. So on this one, the R25 fits good, but on the 21, this is 21 and a half. On the 21 gray one, I might 
now that I think about it, I might keep this fork for this one. Get another uh, the the F25 for front brakes because I want to run front brakes, and then I might get an R32 for the gray one to see the difference between the two bikes because the other one is a shorter frame uh, top tube, so it's a 21, but the wheel will come too close, so I will have to extend the wheel outwards because I want it to be outwards. Uh, and then run the 48, 48 millimeter stem uh, with the onyx. I got two onyx stem, one uh, 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 48 and one 52. This one is a 50, so it's not super long. It feels perfect right now. I had to lower the height of this. Uh, I ain't put I ain't put lube on the chain, but I definitely put a lot of a lot of Lucas fucking grease because I didn't want, you know, I don't got money for the part two stuff. But, um, I put a lot of the Lucas on the, on the, on the, uh, Lucas grease, the red one. The one that says, uh, uh, it has anti-seize properties. So, I, you know, but it feels smooth. And, and my bars felt smooth. And another thing, when I was spinning, spinning my bars... When I was spinning my bars, for some reason, because of the stem lifting up, like the stem will go upwards. So it made the, the bar spin like funny because it had that upward shape. So the bar sitting on a, on a weird angle, no matter how much I line it up with the, the fork, it still had a weird angle. So what I, what I was what I was trying on the, because uh, I was on the train to get out here, but, See, it's, it spins a lot better. Plus, I put a lot of fucking hell of a grease in there. It spins a lot better. So, and a lot faster. Before, it was spinning slow. Like, I will try to I will try to spin it just like practice. Like how the guys do it. And uh, uh, Alfredo Mancuso be, t be, be saying uh, on the videos to lean up against a wall or something and lift it up. And then, and then just practice like that. I uh, still haven't got the technique of it, but it's whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I did. But I'm going to do a bike check. A redo bike check. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to smoke real quick. Oh, yeah, please. If you don't have that habit, don't get it. <laughs> if you don't have the habit of cigarettes, don't get it, man. Because it's ridiculous. Don't get that habit. Like... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm waiting for my my Oxy Flow, the Oxy, the Oxy Fit that I ordered, the Oxy Flow, so I could so I could stop this. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna use that to stop cigarettes. I'm just gonna stop cigarettes in general. But I want to open up my lungs, so when I sprint, I don't get tired and feel my like my legs burning. So yeah. Uh, this is gonna fuck up my video. <laughs> this light. Yeah, I just want to chill real quick. I still got time to wait. I got to go. Oh, shit. I don't want to put it down. Let me go to... Uh, I, like, I, I want to lean it somewhere, but I don't want to lean it too close to where it's going to fall. I'm trying to put scratch on my bike, man. And this one means a lot to me because it was Anthony's first. So that's that's why I treated this one with, <laughs> with so much tender loving care um yeah so yeah so the, but this is what i do i ain't getting to bms to do tricks a lot of people want me to do it but it's like i i didn't really you know i i'm at a certain point in my life that i don't even want to be a pro rider or, or i would love to be a racer though but i'm not trying to be like a pro bmx because one my license is suspended. I can't get it back unless I come up with a lot of money. Two, I really don't have many people that I could take rides to to the skate parks in, in any other state. And three, is I'm too old for that shit, bro. I fucking, I'm too fragile. Uh, I'm sure you guys could see in the fucking, I mean, yeah, you guys could see my picture, my profile picture. 
you know, I look fucking fragile, man. I look like I'll, I'll, break, I'll break a bone. So, you know, and plus I got health issues. So, um, yeah, I do it for my psyche. I just love riding. It feels good. I don't know, for some reason, it feels good. I had a mountain bike before. And uh, uh, I had a mountain bike before, and um, I don't know, it kind of feels like my mountain bike, to be honest. It's just like the, the, like the front end is a little different, because it's not a full suspension, or, or half suspension, which is a, with a hardtail, uh, front suspension with a hardtail, but it kind of reminds me of the new proof that I had. So that's why I love it. And the, the bike rolls so fast. Like I love these tires, these Brock Ralf Rayford tires. Uh, kudos to him for, uh, for uh, doing these uh, signature tires and Odyssey. But if I, if I was him, I would have went with the, with the non-wide bead. I would have went with the Kevlar bead, make it heavy duty, but be like Kevlar. Like, I would have made it heavy duty. That's the only thing that I, I would say. But uh, the tires, they work good. Unlike the super circuit ones that, that Odyssey made. Because they're not even for the streets. So you can't use the super circuit tires. They make your bike real light. But it's, it's not good for the streets, bro. I caught so many flats with them tires. It's not even funny. And the fact that you fell them up. Them shits is not 2.4. Them shits is like 2.6. Because when you fill it up to 100 PSI, them tires go like, they go real fat. They're like, they're real fat. Them shits is 2.6. I think they got the thing wrong with, with the, with the, you know, the specs on that shit. But the shit is like, like, it looks like when you fill it up to 100 PSI, I swear, it looks like a 2.6. But, you can't, you can't, um, how you call it? Damn, the lighting is fucked up over here. You can't really, uh, let me go over here. Oh, they got a, they got a crate. I could just sit on a crate too. They can't, uh, they don't, they, they're too big. They're like, they're too fat. But I wish they would have made it the top part. Puncher, like, puncher proof. Don't make it puncher resistant. Make it puncher proof. And they they could have they could put at least another five grams into it. It would have been better. Cause once the 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 tires the tire once the tire the super circuit tires I still got them shits too. They're still in my house. I got them on the wall with my other helmet. The super circuit tire is kind of like I don't know. They kind of uh. They're, they're, they're like the, the part over here, I don't know if you can see, the part over here, it, it gets too soft. It, it was hard at the first when I first threw them on and then when I started riding them after like two or three days, they started getting a little bit too soft and then everything started going through it. So I was like, nah, so I had like, I had like, uh, at that time when I had them, while I was rocking them tires, I had like so many tubes. I had to use every single tool because I don't feel like patching them. So I just throw them out. I just, uh, I pop a tube or a tube uh, gets a puncher, I just throw them out. I don't even waste my time fucking putting patches on. Because once you put patches on, on tubes, they, they turn to uh, get weird shaped. And I, don't, I didn't want that. So yeah, I just keep buying tubes. That's all. But I like the, I like the bike. And in the blue, the indigo blue color. Oh my God, that shit looks sweet. I wish they would have kept that color instead of the black one. They got the black one like this with the gloss. Uh, I will put more gloss over, especially over the stickers because my gray one is already ripping the stickers off. So uh, yeah. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna do another, another, another bi uh, bike check. Actually, a bike check part two. Just talking about what, what I'm gonna do and the changes. Uh, uh, this video is not wasn't really about the bike check, but uh, I just wanted to show. I already I already felt the difference already. Just with two things that I changed: the brakes and uh, and and the fucking the stem. 
everything else that I that I had gotten for this bike was uh, uh, extra brake pads, uh, the the force brake pads for by E Clat because they got so much meat on it. Uh, they the clear ones, and uh, these are not squeaking that much. Maybe because I probably did the right, almost the right thing to uh, uh, install them. Because if you install them wrong, they they tend to squeak. So I I, I try to do it without tension on a on a spring. So yeah, but I like I like the bike. The bike is awesome. Uh, I would love to see changes on it though. They need to like make that Hobie Dome uh, chain stay, which was uh, the uh, investment cast yoke chain stay. Uh, that would be sweet and the the crossbar right here in the in, in the uh c state they should make it like curved and put the letters kink in it that that will be sweet like I, I and and make the um if you if you keep the removable brake mounts make the the one that's uh that you because there's one side that you tie in and it puts tension on 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 a brake right so make the other, like I would love for them to make the other side, I think it's the left side, this side, when you when you tension it and you tighten it, uh, instead of tightening it the opposite way, you tighten it towards the tension, like upwards, like towards the front. Because I noticed that on one side, all you have to do when you tie in the, the, the mount, the screw mount for the brake mount, for the U-brake, it, 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 it forces the, the spring to tension. So if they did that on, on the left side, it will be it will be nice too. Instead of doing it right, right hand tidy, make it left hand tidy. So it will be like the opposite. Like what you do with the, uh, I, I think it was like, I forgot what, what part of the bike that you do lefty. It's like the opposite, oh, the pedals. The pedals, like that. You know what I'm saying? They should have done that because uh, uh, you know, unless they 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 don't mind doing like uh, permanent brake mounts, permanent welded brake mounts. I would love the welded brake mounts because it it will match the uh, Odyssey forks. But you know, I'm not an engineer, and I'm, and you know, I'm repping I'm repping their brand, and I'm happy that someone hit me up on on YouTube and uh, they they someone has he he got the 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 green one which is the one that i had ordered but they they you know i kind of got the gray one by accident but anyway um yeah so yeah but I, i'm glad that I, you know i i'm happy that people are buying it because this bike or oh, the frame itself because you can't get the the frame built unless you deal with the bike shop and they'll build it for you or you source bmx for could also build your bike because they got the builder bike builder uh, uh bike builder page and uh maybe uh dance comp also does it there's some other bike shops that i see online uh that I, they do they have youtube channels and instagram um they probably build you a bike like this with the with the with the kink frame but this kink frame is just you buy the, the frame itself and then you will have to build it so this is the parts that i got on it the only thing that I would love to get is that is that fucking BSD revolutionary hub. So that's what I want to get. So yeah, but I'm gonna cut this video now because I'm gonna rest for a little bit. Even though I'm not tired, but I just want to rest and smoke a cigarette and drink my uh and drink my thing, my uh Red Bull because I like Monster, but come on, man, them cans is too big. It's like it's like a fucking three days of monster energy drink where you drink it from that from that can fucking 16 ounce that shit look like 21 ounce but anyway uh yeah i'm gonna drink my uh i'm gonna go over here by dunkin donuts real quick yeah and i want to i want to go to the bike park because i heard this one by the gotham's bridge so as soon as you get off you cross to jersey and by the gotham's bridge two people already told me that there's a bike park over there. I want to go there. And the one in Fable Pool, there's a little one there. And I've seen some spots in the city when I did go to the city. So there's at least some spots I could grind, peg grind. But uh, um, 
All I got to say is that I'm very afraid of this fucking BMS, bro. Because, you know, I had my accident when I was 15. Uh, I ate a lot of pavement. So, uh, I was sprinting. Chain popped off. I went to sprint again. And when I went to sprint, I just went over the bars and fucking ate, ate fucking, not cement, but pavement. I ate a lot of pavement for like maybe a mile because I was going fast and I scraped my whole face. But that was when I was like 15. So yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna cut off this video now. Soon, as soon as I get to Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I wanted to sit on a fucking... Uh, Uh, I might call this video, uh, fucking, uh, 2023 Kink BMX blog. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not that great with the videos on YouTube because it's like, when I was into the tech shit with the Nexus phones and all that, I used to do a lot of YouTube videos back then that I deleted and I should have not. But now that I got this camera, the DJI Action 4 sales plug. Uh, yeah, ever since I got that, uh, yeah, I'm doing videos, but it's like whatever settings I put it in, I put it in pro settings and I didn't change nothing. It's just like uh, default pro settings, that's it. So some places, some spots, it looks mad dark, and then there's spots that it doesn't look mad dark it looks nice uh and i i maybe i change one setting when it, like the video for uh, i don't got it on the part on the section that this for videos for like that's good for like instagram social media i, I got it the regular move like the, the regular uh, i don't even know what to call it because i had to look it up and then write it down so i i could say it when i'm doing my videos so i won't sound like i'm stupid or like I don't have uh, a brain so yeah so shout outs to my brother because he's, he's following me now on my YouTube channel <laughs> so shout outs to my peoples and Anthony Silverback uh, Buck 50 that's it so uh, yeah my brother my brother's on my following me now so yeah so shout outs to everybody um, I guess I could just thank y'all for uh, watching my videos at least, you know? That's all I could do. I don't, I'm not gonna suggest people to subscribe and like or whatever, because like I said, I'm not trying to be YouTube famous, so. Yeah, but I might go to skate park and, and try to do some tricks, whatever. Try to do something something because uh it does want like i get that urge sometimes I, I i like i really do but i don't know i got i'm afraid and plus the fact that uh the fact that i don't even have my elbow pads i ordered them and they ain't come yet and they haven't shipped them yet oh shit look at that a quarter just what i need oh fuck it you find shit on the ground every day Oh, I found a quarter. Look at that. Thank you, Dunkin' Donuts. You're so awesome. Yeah, I found a quarter. Uh, yeah, I missed my new proof, though. I sold it, too. Someone screamed at me for that. He was like, well, that, that was your, like, you, you built that bike. Why are you selling it? He was, like, screaming. But anyway. Um, yeah, so. Uh. I'm hoping the bars is lined up with the hand, with the with the step with the fork. It looks like it is, but my eyes is kind of like twisted, so I don't know. One is hanging down than the other, so um, I don't know. But it looks like it's it's lined up with the fork sometimes in certain angles, but it's nice. I mean the R25s is good on this frame because it's so long, but. Uh, if it was uh, if it's the gray one, I might get the the 
the F32 or the R32 so for the gray one because it's shorter so I don't know I might I might have both I might keep both I mean I'm gonna keep uh, I might keep I know I'm gonna keep this one but I might keep the gray one or I might just resell it and because I, I I ordered the gray one the gray frame I ordered it but I want to make room for another bike of uh, 2020 uh, 2025 uh, frame backwards if they come out with one for for next year I don't know I, I think they're gonna wait until like maybe mid year next year or something I don't know what King's doing I, I always hit them up I want to meet the riders so I'm, I'm hoping I meet the riders and shit especially Casey Case that motherfucker's nasty that dude is nasty on a bike um, they got some new riders uh, yeah so I've been trying you know if I knew where they go exactly in my hand I know it uptown somewhere but I, cause I be in downtown I be like the, the farthest I went uptown was 14th street so that's where I go so I don't I don't bump into no none of the riders uh, Billy Perry or nothing none, none of them so I would love to meet Rusty Billy Perry uh Ha cha 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 cha. Uh, what's his face? Um. Uh, uh, damn, I call him ha cha cha <laughs> because that's that's the most that stands out on him. Um. Uh, what's his face? Damn it. Uh, Anthony Panza. Uh, he reminds me of a friend that I had that from school that you know I don't know I used to hang with. Um. Uh, let me see. Uh, Anthony Panza, Rusty, I would like to meet, uh, Billy Perry, uh, Stevie Churchill, definitely, I know he's in Jersey, I just don't know how far I ever had to ride out there, um, cause I, I, I ain't gonna ask for no rides, so, uh, I don't get in people's cars, if not my car, <laughs> uh, unless it's just my family member, that's it, but if it ain't my car, I don't get in strangers' cars, bro, so, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Uh, you know, some people just scare me the fucking shit out of me when I'm, when they're driving. So, um, yeah. Uh, so Billy Perry, Rusty, shout outs to him. I would like to meet him definitely. Um, uh, Billy Perry, Rusty, Stevie Churchill, uh, Anthony Pezza, the rest of the guys they hang with. Uh, uh, Sean, Sean McCanny, I would like to meet him. He's, he seems like a cool dude. There's a lot of drama with him, but he's, he, he seems cool, bro. I, I, I understand that drama shit, though. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this is like the Kick BMX blog or Flacco's blog or whatever. I'm, a, I'm just going to call the video that because I really don't want to mess up the, the bike check. Yeah, and just explaining what I would like to see with Kink with kinks uh backwards i like the the complete bikes but i mean this shit is fucking thin as hell like the detail on the frame is like the 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 thing compared to the 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 built bikes the complete bikes this is a lot thinner than the complete bikes so you know but it's it's strong like i could feel it it's it's pretty strong so i don't know but anyway I'm gonna stop this video now. I'm gonna make another one when I start moving again. So, take care, guys. Peoples. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs>